I'm just gonna go and say these are five things I personally would like in episode eight. Of course, we don't really need to know too much because of the trailer. These are it's just obviously they must just speculate what's happening in the teaser. But I'm gonna go on record and just say um, <clears throat> stuff that I would personally like to see in the final and see finally wrapped up. But before I get into the video, a lot of people are saying I didn't even notice this at first. The thumbnail of the actual like teaser has a yellow person. At first, I thought it was no um, Uzi's mom, Nora. But then people have pointed out that they have a yellow eye, and because Jay's alive, people think it's V. That is very likely possible. It could be V somehow. Um, I don't really know what to make of it. I guess it could also be N, maybe like N could have just died and he. <laughs> and he's getting eaten or something. Anything could be possible, really. Just wanted to point that out. And now let's get into the video. N and Sin's a moment. Of course, I'm not someone who ships these characters. I don't know a lot of people ship them. And the uh, excuse is to not ship them. It's like they're brother and sisters. Even though they're not related. Like, they're robots. So it's okay if you really want to ship them. I like the brother and sister dynamic. Even though people tell me you shouldn't, I'm Sin doesn't care about N, shut up. <laughs> That's my. Sh I would like to see some kind of like interaction. They obviously get interact, but some kind of like maybe Sin talks to N. Like she did this in episode seven. Maybe she's actually tricking him and then gets him off guard. But honestly, a part of me thinks that Sin does deeply care about. And as he, she wouldn't really go as far as she has for him if not, if she's not interested in him at least a bit. I think she cares for him more than Sit, more than J and V, than she does for J and V. So yeah, it's just a lot to be determined, I guess. Something else I wanted to go over. The second thing is simply I just want to see and actually losing it like. He's normally the most calmest person. The only time we've ever seen him lose it, kinda, is when he snaps at V. I am! Who's he is? She's a kid like us, V! What is wrong with you? And that's not like him being completely angry, it's just him getting a bit vocal with his words and saying V to not shout at Uzi and make her sad or whatever. So, yeah, it's the only time we've ever seen him lose it. Unless I'm, like, forgetting something. Actually, you no, know, we've seen him lose it in um, a bit, but like, he got over that super quickly. Now, for example, at the end of uh, episode 6, we see him absolutely shaken at the start of episode 7, moments after this, moment after his death, he's shaken a bit, but and then he drops it and then forgets all about V's death. He completely, it's completely... Thing because the situation calls for him to focus more so he doesn't really focus on thingy. I really want to sit, I really want like and to actually lose it and have a confrontation with um Sin and see actually and maybe try and even connect with her again in some kind of way. It would really be interesting in my opinion. I would like to see a flashback of Sin's journey or whatever. Like, we've seen flashbacks of my drones before, but we have never seen it through the eyes of Sin. Like, if we saw through the eyes of Sin, maybe how she fought with everyone around her and how the absolute server fully corrupted her or whatever. Maybe because we don't re I feel like there's something there she's actually fully possessed. I think she has some sense of conscious, but the absolute server is really twisting that conscious. Um, I would like to see, like, what happened before and after the destruction of us. Like, probably her going to different places to kill different humans and her corrupting different droids. Because we do know she does that eventually. But of course, like I said, this is probably... We don't know if anything's going to happen because we don't know how long the episode's going to be. It could be five minutes, it could be an hour, it could be 40 minutes. We don't know. Big Brother N. Perhaps you'd like to attend the gala with me. Light sip. This is something we're probably going to get. Uzi vs Sin. We're most like, yeah, yeah, I see in the teaser. It is going to happen. I would like a really epic fight. It looks like it's going to be probably the best fight in the whole series, in my opinion. From the 
animation to how it looks you just sort of say it would be a great fight in my opinion um <clears throat> nothing else to really talk about this one i just wanted to add it in there it's, it's just something that i would read oh, i don't think we've actually fully gotten them to fight before i mean they had that whole like thing where things cropped in that um that like thing and rips a dad a hologram for dad apart but we haven't got them fight and then seeing someone who's also corrupt normally corrupt in uzi or kick getting that to sort of take over so we saw n and uzi sin fight so yeah it would be nice to see a form fight on how next foul last or whatnot and yeah peep this lastly but not least the destruction of the absolute silver now, I don't know if it will get fully destroyed or whatnot. I feel like it was somewhat. Maybe it will be more of a pure thing. Maybe look, maybe it won't be like so, you know, corrupted or whatever. Maybe you can use it as, to your advantage. But I feel as you think it will be great if the destruction of the absolute silver was a thing. Because that's obviously what ends up corrupting the droids at the end of the day, the robots. So we don't really know. It probably won't end up happening if I had to guess because I don't think there's any way to get fully rid of it other than death. And Uzi isn't going to die, I don't think, anyway. Plot armor. So, I mean, to be fair, we don't really know. Everyone could die at the end of the day. It is the last episode of the series. They don't really have to keep everyone alive. Uh, it'd be nice if we do, but I don't really have to. Or they could clone Uzi and then kill her actual body and then, you know, she gets revived in a clone. I guess. Um, this is the thing I really wanted to do. And yeah, this is all my thoughts on that. Also, I'm hoping that N does survive, but it's not looking very likely. I did do a video a long time ago, like after episode seven, that N will die in episode eight. It was a fear that I was going around a lot. And I also talk my thoughts on that. Go whatever you guys want. But yeah, it's not looking very good for N if I do. <laughs> yeah, it might end up dying. I feel like he, if he dies, obviously it looks like Sin and him are gonna have a fight. So if he dies, I wonder if that will actually have some impact on Sin. Like I said, a lot of, every time I talk about this, Sin that actually having control of her body. No, no, it's all the absolute silver. But um, yeah, just wonder how they'll end up doing this final. I hope it's a really good final. Final, and I'm wondering how long the final will be. We actually don't know the time length from what I'm aware of. It also looks like Jay's going to be a complete enemy, which I thought was going to happen anyway. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Holy hell! Suck on that, Dad!